Good morning. Are you ready for some shout outs? Don't mind the hair. It's the stay at home hairdo that's like popping out. I have these horns that keep picking up and standing out. And I'm tired of fighting with the hair. So you're going to get to see the wild and crazy hairdos over the next couple of days. Because it usually takes about two weeks for it to calm down. That's just how it goes. One of the things about the Christmas in July fairies, hashtag that hashtag, is there are lots of new channels that are popping up and joining in. Um, you know, and I know a lot of these are just crochet. Some do crochet and knit. Some do crochet and knit. Some cook. <laughs> but I would hope that even those people that just have knitting channels will get on board because that would be even more fantastic, don't you think? Maybe we can encourage them to join in. All right, the very first channel I have is someone that uh, has been around for a little while. She hasn't posted in quite some time, but she posted just recently and she's decided to come back. That is Melody of Melody Yarny Crochet and Planner. She does some, um, she was in the car crocheting, and I noticed a couple times in the past she's been in the car crocheting, either while her child was, while she's waiting for her child to be picked up, or, you know, whatever reason, waiting on someone that she was picking up. She has done some in the past. I think the last one was about, I don't know, know if it was nine months ago or what but she showed us different points of her life and those kind of things but Melody has decided to come back and I am glad to see that this next one Dusty how did I not know you had had a channel and that's Dusty Cat she's from Canada and there are quite she has a lot of interest um, yes, she has some yarn hauls and crochet and some other things. So, Dusty, I can't believe I didn't know you had a channel. Go see her. <laughs> this next one is Mid Mo Mama. Now, Mo, I'm sure, stands from Missouri since that's where she's from. And if she's using the hashtag Mid Mo, I'm pretty sure that she's in the middle of Missouri. And that is Jeannie. Jeannie's channel has a lot of variety in it. She crochets, she knits, she bakes, she cooks, she reads, and that's a lot of what is on her channel. Every, cha every video I've seen so far has had a recipe in it. And um, so go check her out. She's lost. She has very interesting topics and beautiful items and lots of good fun. You know, not just crochet and knitting. <laughs> then there is Nana's in Whips, and that is Carrie. She's from Washington State. She's a whole week old, so let's go welcome her. Um, she's always, she uses that title, Whips, W-I-P, apostrophe S because she always has works in progress don't we all but she incorporated it into her channel name i love that great carrie that was a fantastic idea then there is Kay's crochet haven this is kaylin now she has been around for two months i can't believe i didn't find her <laughs> found her through the christmas in july fairies hashtag so um I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing from Kaylin. She has a lot of beautiful work in there, um, in her channel. And just stunning, Kaylin. Just stunning. Um, I have watched two videos. Um, I'm still working on seeing all of her videos. So, you know, I'm glad to see that she pushed the button and she's joined the Yarny community. Then there is Whips and Chains Crochet with Dawn. Now, whenever I see her name in the comments, 
either on my channel or someone else's channel. I always try to go look and see the different people when I see names to see if they actually have a channel, what that channel involves. I had not gone and looked at her channel for about two weeks. She's been around for a full week. <laughs> and I'm sorry I missed it, Dawn. Dawn has some great works. And I'm glad to see that she has finally started the channel and got some videos up. Because what I'm seeing is absolutely stunning. This next young lady is Wool Makes. Now, I've only seen one video. I think she only has one up so far. And this is Brittany. Now, Brittany um, is a new knitter. So she shows you some of her new knitting. And uh, she talks about the, the dreaded pearl stitch. You know, I don't like to pearl. I do it. I don't like to do it. And it's just because I don't like the movement that I use the way that I hold my yarn. And she talks about using, you know, maybe she's holding her yarn wrong for the stitch, whatnot. So I found that very interesting. However, what I found even more interesting is she designs. She has some beautiful patterns. So I'm not only going to link her channel for you to go visit the channel. Um, and she lives out in the country. I'm not sure exactly where she lives. I wasn't paying that much attention to that part. I'm sorry. But, talks about having crappy internet. I know all about that being in the country. Being where I lived. Um, in the past and also here. Because for a long time we had some awful internet service. Um, we recently upgraded our internet service, um, so now things run a whole lot smoother. But, um, yeah, I can understand that crappy internet business. But I'm also going to link her at Etsy shop. Right now, she has a sale on her patterns. It's 15% off, so they're running about $3.40 and change. She has some absolutely beautiful um, items out there. She has done one triangle shawl that I, maybe two, on her Etsy shop. But she has some beautiful tops, patterns that she's selling. And uh, she also has a new one called the Sienna shawl. She has not got it up on Ravelry um, because of the internet issues, I'm sure. But she does have it up in her Etsy shop, and it is a beautiful shawl. It looks to be a, tr a uh, rectangle shawl, but it's beautiful. So uh, go check out Brittany's channel, and that is Wool's, Wool Makes. That is also the name of her Etsy shop, Wool Makes. So, um, yeah, check her out. This next one is Karen. And she's been around for quite some time. And I don't know how I miss seeing her channel. I don't know. Perhaps she's not using any of the tags in in the description box. Now, if you watch channels that tell you how to grow your channel. And they'll tell you about tags. And then there's one Daryl Eves who has talked about, you know, the tags that, are, that you can put in in the box down below when you're uploading your video. YouTube algorithm says they don't count. Don't believe that, and I'll tell you why. When you put in that tag, crochet channel, under in your box, many times people will find you because they put in a search for crochet channels, okay? This is how I found Karen. So, take what you will with what they say that those tags don't count, but I think they do because it does help you find certain channels, certain things that you're looking for. And Karen's channel is called The Stitch Sessions Crochet and Conversation. 
she does a lot of how to's how to make this how to do some basic crochet but she also has a feature where she does a crochet and conversation with different people sometimes they're sitting next to her and they're having a cup of coffee tea whatever and having a conversation about their crochet or their channels or whatever but it's very interesting I find it very entertaining so go give these guys a look-see and um, if you haven't made comments on all the channels that are participating in that great giveaway and it's worldwide what is that giveaway it's hashtag Christmas in July fairies I'm gonna leave a link for the playlist that I have going so far which also includes Dana's playlist I'm trying to keep up as I find these channels and as I see them so that I can keep that updated as close as I can but if you haven't commented and gotten an enter gotten a chance to enter into the final giveaway a lot of the channels are also giving away something to their winner who goes into Dana's list which creates the big winner at the end of the month so if you haven't done that check out the playlist there'll be an, an end card up here or down here or at the end or something with a link to it go sign up it's going to be a lot of fun I can't wait to see all the winners because surely between all of our channels we, all, we won't all pick the same person that should be interesting and for those of us that are participating in the hashtag Christmas in July fairies the fairies aren't eligible to put their names in but they will go by and do some support messages to those that are participating so come on guys join in have a great time and I'll see you again tomorrow for our regular What in Tarnation stories. And there are a few interesting ones. And the usual podcast on what I'm doing, what I'm up to, those kind of things. So everybody have a great day. And remember, be well, be safe, and be kind.